Lars of teaching more ease of learning. Teachers are candelabra of teaching, more accurately of indoctrination. Parenthood is the basis of adding luster to studenthood and, incontrovertibly, creating an infallible atmosphere of learning. And instilling curiosity are for sure earth shattering and tectonic, predominantly preeminent. Teachers erect the sculpture of humanity with chips and marbles of humaneness. Crystallized with the ingredients of empathy, sympathy, kindness, and generosity, all that are in sync with humanitarianism. T transparency, T enthusiasm, A action, C character, H humanity, T efficiency, R reformation. Dear learners, today I intend to throw light on the role of teachers in the present day society. As a teacher, I should do it. That's a good maxim. A mother brings a child from the heaven to the earth, but the teacher sends a child from the earth to the heaven. You see, that means a mother gives birth a child and becomes the first teacher. After that, a teacher prepares himself to be a good human being in the future. As a result, he stands inside heaven means fulfillment comes to his life. So what happens nowadays, there is some discrepancy. Some few teachers are suffering from not in psychological problems or fevers or physical debilities, they are suffering from inexpertise, ignorance, uh, your inefficiency, uh, your um, ineptitude. Uh, as a result of which they produce such type of students that these students also do not suffer from any psychological problems or physical debilities. They also suffer from what we call uh, negativities like a jealousy, ill will, backbiting, something like this. Why this happens? Uh, most of the school authorities appoint the teachers by uh, uh, watching their academic qualifications and uh, your professional qualifications and asking them uh, uh, some questions as usual. They do. But what happens? Uh, they never see uh, the inside of their uh, uh, qualification in the sense they do not look into the inside of the teachers means they do not do not testify their human engineering that means uh, how much uh, do they have generosity kindness uh, student friendliness uh, uh, whether they are good human being or not this happens in most of the cases i have also conducted interviews of the teachers i have asked them why do you go to the class simple answer to TV students. No, absolutely this is not correct at all because the teacher goes to a classroom to teach and learn. Your 90% teaching and 10% learning. 10% learning is what? Uh, before that I am telling you that a teacher has to uh, use his multiple intelligence. That means uh, emotional intelligence, uh, his interpersonal intelligence. What 10% in that 10% intelligence uh, he uses his uh, your emotional intelligence, he studies the minds of these students, how many rebels are there, how many dull students are there, what are the problem lies with some students. So as a result of which they will come back and sit in their house and analyze how to correct the mistakes uh, that lie in these four to five students, suppose, in the class. So in that 10% uh, learning is much more important. Then, a teacher's role is to remember all the names of students of the class. So if a teacher calls somebody as John or Zen, he will be much more interested. But nowadays, uh, uh, teachers uh, do not, some teachers do not go to the class uh, to study or use their emotional intelligence and their interpersonal intelligence. Interpersonal intelligence means to have that ability to communicate with others. What is education? Noam Chalsi said that uh, the purpose of education is to produce human beings. Sadhguru has 
<coughs> said that <coughs> education is a joyful choice. It's not coercive. And uh, your Mikio Kaku, the theoretical physicist has shown the job of future will require your uh, intelligence, creativity and experience. Uh, suppose uh, uh, whether we are have, uh, passing through a better education system uh, than before, let us test it. Let us go back to uh, 1950 when there was no internet, no Google, etc. Uh, if you just uh, see the criminal rate, uh, like uh, the rate of murder, the, ra murder, the rate of rape, the uh, rate of kidnapping, there was very meager at that time. Now it has escalated. You see, after when uh, your internet came in 1991, there was a knowledge explosion. When 1999 your Google came, there was another uh, knowledge explosion, knowledge came. And uh, you see, as uh, your uh, Mikio Kakua said, that we are, we are going to face that fourth wave of technology. What happens? Uh, so now uh, I want to say that uh, uh, every teacher should be on the alert to produce good, better, best students in the class because students are the future citizens of India. So I am telling, suppose one, uh, one uh, teacher went to a class, taught in the class after four to uh, five minutes, he just uh, gave him some misinterpretation, in some misinformation. So that misinterpretation or misinterpretation lie within the students. So they went uh, through a back, uh, bad line. Another teach, a teacher uh, went to the class, um, he is not proficient at all, but he, he, uh, with his showmanship he teaches the class and impresses the students by telling against the other students. So the students just uh, uh, got that information about the, that misinformation about some teacher and they went to the class and told their parents, so teacher was telling against the teacher. So as a result of which uh, this uh, type of uh, teachers misguide the students with some negative traits. So, as you know that a teacher is a fundamentally called as guru. A teacher is nowadays not a, uh, not teaching to pedagogy. Pedagogy means art of teaching. Now the better form of teaching has come as hutagogy. Hutagogy means uh, your students, the, the center teaching, the uh, teacher will go to the class and sit there and ask this ask questions to the students and according to their whims and interests of the uh, students, uh, the uh, teacher will sit there and uh, facilitate learning. So the modern name of a teacher is uh, uh, maybe a mentor, but its modern name, most modern name is facilitator. So my main intention is that in order to make the country better, we have to uh, select proper teachers. As one uh, last but not least I will tell, I, will, I am not mentioning the uh, name of the grammar books. So in, so in one of the grammar books there is something in exercise it is written, none but the brave deserves the pair. You see the grammatical mistake, it would be deserve. So after finding this, I wrote to the author, authorities, it was flashed in the newspaper but to no, but to no avail, still then it is, it, is, it is continuing. In another grammar book it is mentioned, uh, who of the five boys is your friend? Uh, actually, it should be which because when selection is meant, instead of using who, you use which. In another college level question, it came, you just find out the correct answer within the bracket. Is, is bracket correct or brackets correct? Brackets correct because double angle is there. So, this type of mistakes, mistakes cannot be tolerated at all. As a result of which, if this continues, no student can be properly constructed. I am telling you one thing in the back in the year 1977, when Benjamin Franklin went to France, he remained there for nine years and in the year 1979 he came back and found in America there are some words like raise and nice, R-A-I-S-E, nice, he found there, he got so irritated and excited and worried, he wrote letters to Noah Oster, Oster the father of the American dictionary to correct these mistakes because at that time raise and nice have some absolute meanings. So whatever happens in our present day situation, we are just, uh, uh, some of the teachers, I can tell it frankly, running after money. It is bad to run after money, it is good to work with money, it is good to uh, race with money, it, it is good to keep pace with money, it's not bad at all. So if one uh, becomes money-minded, if uh, 
uh, one is uh, best equipped with the negative ideas what will happen the future of the students will be dark your sir ken robinson one of the noted noted educationists of the world has said do school skill creativity she was giving stress on creativity curiosity creativity is there curiosity is there it is only the teacher of the te duty of the teachers to instill in them that curiosity and your curiosity and one more thing i must say that uh, if i tell about something uh, on parenting there are two types of parenting that is free range parenting it is good let the students do let the students uh, read whatever they uh, they read or study just watch them never be helicopter parenting it is, it is very bad so i am not blaming the parents i am not blaming the students i am not blaming the uh, teachers teachers are the noblest of all the professions i regard them i honor them i am also a teacher but we have to cure the uh, elements that lie with the system that lie with the teachers so that what will happen the uh, country will be blissful with proper uh, blithesomeness so i think uh, you must treat it as a, not a, not as a lesson but try my from my expression because i what i'm telling uh, by being a principal for 12 years and uh, teaching for teaching uh, for 40 years i have gained this type of Uh, uh experience so uh, i think with a good sense i am just telling this to make this society a big change i think uh, you must appreciate it thank you much as gracias the role of a teacher in their heart of hearts is to arouse curiosity and help actualize creativity smack dab in their students